Welcome to Make Things Fly. Um, I'm Joseph Collier. And I'm Aaron Collier. And today we're going to be talking about using hydrogen to make things fly. So you could tell us a little bit more about the project that we're working on today? Okay, so today's project, we're going to deal with hydrogen production. Now normally with hydrogen production, you hear stuff like electrolysis, but today we're going to show you a unique bucket system which we've helped put together. And we're going to go outside and start with square one and kind of go from there. All right, let's head out. So okay. explain to me what's on the table right now. Okay, so here's to our audience, what we got. Okay. <laughs> our hydrochloric acid, which in this case is, uh, got some water in it and some other things, so it's commonly called muriatic acid. We're going to fill this jar. We're going to grab, we're going to gravity feed the jar into our main chamber, which has aluminum in it. When it interacts, it's going to produce hydrogen, get really super hot. See the water level here, it's going to bubble through here. And as it, the hot gases are in here, the temperature is yeah. going to rise a little bit, but it's going to help with kind of a, keep the temperature down. Mm -hmm. It's going to strip out the smells and it's going to act as a one-way valve. As it comes out of there, it goes to this hose to this bag. Now, how do you, put how this, do you want to do this? We're going to try and get as much air out of this bag as possible for this to work. Can you follow the zip tie it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and zip tie that. We'll go from there. Okay. Okay, let's talk about personal protection. Wear... Dangerous. Yeah, so you see the skull and crossbones. That's what that means. It says danger, poison, do not ingest or spill on yourself. This does is extremely corrosive with metals. So this table we have, we have to be a little gotten a lot of damage. I don't care if the table dies. Yeah. So it's a table. It's a table. All right, so we're going to need mass for fumes while we do our first initial fill. Okay. And we'll wear gloves. Awesome. And this stuff smells nasty, so you don't want to be breathing it. You got the gloves, so I'm just helping at this point. There we go. So, we got this bucket is now rumbling as the acid is interacting with the aluminum. The hydrogen, which is super hot, over 250 degrees, is coming through this hose. It's kind of loose now, but you can see the water is completely pushed through. The second bucket is also rumbling as water, it's as the hydrogen is bubbling through and through this hose, and now it's starting to fill the bag. Let's give it a little bit more. Not enough yet. It's, it's about as heavy as the surrounding air, so no hands, it's just kind of floating. The bag's about, well, it's almost halfway full. So this basic setup that we have here is how they used to do it, going all the way back to the early days of filling giant uh, light in there, balloons, and they go up. This, so instead of buckets, though, they used uh, wooden casks. Those are pretty big wooden casks. Yes. Yeah. Instead of aluminum, they also used iron and a bunch of different things. But this is the basic system, just buckets. They get a lot of hot steam, since it's acid involved. Some of the byproducts are toxic, I believe. Yes. Like the muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is also used in... in uh, Etching concrete. Oh, nice. So don't etch yourself. Don't etch yourself. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. When you do, point it down. Point the tube down. Point the tube down. Okay. Okay. Pull that zip tie tight. Pull the zip tie tight. Oh, this one. Yes. Pull it tight. Okay. There we go. The reason why we point this tube down. Yeah, that's got some tug to it. Is we don't want the air. That's got a lot of tug to it. Okay, so there you have it. Looks like we made it fly. Okay, three, two, one. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. It's kind of a fun finale. We're gonna fill up this tiny bag of hydrogen, and then we're gonna light it on fire. All right, so that's spewing hydrogen. So when you do your... <laughs> That is pretty fun. It smells very strongly. 
So just for fun, this little bag that we have, right? So I bet you've heard that hydrogen is very flammable. Mm -hmm. So just as a demonstration, like it's number one I'm going to burn quality. this bag. Are you ready? There you go. Anything. That's hydrogen. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to uh, like and subscribe on the video and comment any thoughts or suggestions that you have for future projects. And uh, hopefully we'll see you for our next project. All right. Thanks. Take care.